Well, we're now joined on Gridiron TV by the head coach of the Edinburgh Wolves, Don Edmondson. Don, uh, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Al. So, first of all, let's have a, a, a quick chat about the season. It's been a, a great year for the Wolves, uh, making all the way to the semi-finals uh, and then losing out in a tough match against Sheffield. How was that match uh, for you, first of all? Um, I think it was the, the toughest test the Wolves have had in um, recent years that I've been playing with them or coaching with them. Um, obviously, it's an unusual offence. It's not one you see every week. And usually when you do see it in this country, it's not run um, with the precision that Sheffield run it. So we had a lot of scouting to do for that. And uh, I felt we'd done a good job. There was a five, five to ten minute period in the third quarter that um, really put us on the back foot when we were ahead and then we lost the lead and to me that was the turning point in the game and uh, it was extremely hard to get back in the game from there. Yeah and as, um, obviously we'll move on to there was a, a, an incident at the game which a lot of people have been talking about some rumours have been uh, flying about so it'd be good to hear from your point of view what, what it was that happened uh, at the game if you don't mind. Yeah sure um, I've already been in touch with uh, uh, Dr. Jim Briggs at BAFA, who's in charge of disciplinary. Um, uh, as you know, um, yourself, and we've had an internal investigation into the events that happened on the sideline on, the, on Sunday. Um, we've handed all our information across to BAFA uh, to let them deal with it, but just to show BAFA that we are um, ourselves not happy with the conduct of two of our members, we have taken um, measures within our own club to punish the two players, the two people involved. Um, what actually happened, what's on the, the websites that you read about, it's not all true, but it's not far from the truth. You know, it's, it's pretty close. Um, a player went onto the field, turned around, and then um, attacked a coach. Um, the coach was hit in the face with a helmet after a player charged at him. The player and the coach uh, went to ground. Um, the coach restrained him by holding him down the ground and choking him. Um, but then, the, when it was split up by several members on the side of the team, the coach has went back and um, stabbed on the player as he was lying on the ground. Uh, at that point, um, I was in the field with other players and staff, and I wasn't sure. We didn't see what happened. But this is what we found out from our own investigation. I've contacted all our team. We've uh, collated over 30 emails from witnesses on our sideline. And by and large, that is exactly the way it went down. Uh, and it's something as an organisation and head coach that we are thoroughly ashamed of the way our members acted. And we've taken advice. And between the committee ourselves, I sent out an email last night to the two parties and the player involved has been banned by my club for three three full games and administered a £50 fine. And the coach involved, we have um, dismissed them from the club totally and absolved them of all duties and responsibilities for two years from the date of the incident. Um, I think that this shows that we are not turning a blind eye to this. We are taking it as serious, and it's about what the will show as a family club that we are not going to tolerate this kind of uh, behaviour from players or staff on our sidelines. And we weren't going to wait for Baffer to do what they've got to do. So we've got in there first, and we've let the whole team know about this. The players involved and the coach involved have accepted responsibility and have apologised profusely. Um, but as you know, one of the one of the people involved has a a history with uh, uh, violent conduct in the past on the field and um, we felt at this time that we had no other option but to um, dis dismiss him from the club and that's what's happened. So um, thank you very much for joining us and thanks for clarifying the, the situation. I uh, hope all goes well for uh, the team and no doubt we'll be able to uh, be in touch with you uh, towards next season. Yeah, thanks. Cheers.